And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. We're going to play Urban Guesser, game number three by Wolf Trekker. Last updated on the 20th of August 2021. 19,050 hand picked urban locations could be from large cities to small remote towns. Uh, this is a fun one. I was um, wanting to come back to this. I like the urban rounds. So I'll play a lot of these uh, upcoming in the upcoming weeks, different varieties, Urban Guesser, uh, Urban World, etc. We're going to do this as a two-minute no-move challenge. Uh, as always, the play-along link will be in the description below, as would Will Wolf Trucker's great YouTube channel link uh, below. Okay, so we've got French and we've got Arabic, so we're probably in Tunisia. Um, <clears throat> interesting palm trees. Okay, so let's see. Yes, there's the red on the license plate. Um looking stop one minute 30 seconds 2003 okay society Farah. okay well this doesn't look like a large city <clears throat> so we're probably going to go with the smaller town or i'm going to go with the smaller town in tunisia uh, looking north, looks like a break. Well, it looks like it's all, I could say break in the clouds, but it's just the haze, I guess. Um, okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> I don't think we're there. I think we're further north. Let's just take a quick, uh, maybe we're over here in Massacan or... Just looking at the landscape, the trees. Um, maybe we're a little further south. What is this here? Two six. So if I knew the uh, telephone codes, I would know where we are. But I don't. Let's go, Carowin. I think uh, we could be down here somewhere. But could be totally wrong on that. Um, let's just see. And we were 68 miles away. Uh, we were on the outskirts of the city. So, okay, not too bad. 4,695 points. We'll get off to the next round and see where this takes us. And we've got um, E. So maybe South America, perhaps. It's interesting. Double hump. <laughs> um, a lot of trash there. Got a Jeep Cherokee. Okay, wait a minute. There's a hump on that. All right. E, 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 E. Maybe we're Brazil. Now, there's a hill in the background. Um... Is that a Pontiac? Maybe or Mexico. Maybe this is Mexico. Yeah, I think with the cars, the Chevys, the Jeep, the trees. Maybe we're further north in Mexico than I thought. Let's just see. Where's the sun's right above us almost? 2012. 49 seconds. Um, Maybe like Sinaloa, or maybe we're maybe we're well far north in Mexico. Maybe we're Ciudad Juarez. The more I'm thinking about this, are Nogales, but there's mountains, Chihuahua, or I'm hesitant to put Ciudad Juarez, but I might just do that. We're down here. Um, yeah, uh, this mountain here has got me thinking we're there. Uh, let's just go for it. <laughs> that is one of my great guesses. 4,964 points, 7.7 .7 miles. I've had a round in Ciudad Juarez before, just south of El Paso. There is a mountain. I think it's, uh, I think it's on the United States side. If we're looking, we'll come back to that. Maybe it's over here, but I, yep, with the 
barbed wire I was thinking well it could have been in Sinaloa but it's probably a little more Culiacan but uh, probably a little more green um and some of the trees are in the palm trees reminded me a little bit of Tijuana we'll talk about that at the end of the game that was a great guess for me on that one okay we've got Europe east let's see here now we're probably more Russia Ukraine um hmm I'm guessing more you uh, Is that a mountain, a hill in the background? To the northeast. Okay. Yeah, this is a little more difficult um, for me. Because Russia, Ukraine, I really struggle. Um, I'm not entirely convinced, but I'm thinking with these poles. <sighs> Can't tell the plates. This thing on the cart, it could be Russia. I'm just not sure in the meta there. The potholes. 44 seconds we've got. I might have to go <clears throat> maybe Ukraine closer to Russia. So if we're looking north, are there any hills? That's the only problem. I don't... I mean... Is, are there hills around Kharkiv? Let's see. Kharkiv. Kharkiv. Or Luhansk. Um, perhaps. Maybe. Not really seeing it. Um, maybe over here in Severodonetsk. Donetsk. I still don't think this is it the more I look at it, but I'm going to have to go with that. And, uh, yeah, this is far away. So we we're in the middle, <laughs> Bratsk, in the middle of Russia. Four hundred forty-nine points, two thousand six hundred two miles. Yeah, like I said, I struggled with that round. Um, I got to get better at this. Uh, were there any clues? I thought the rusted out were the decrepit streets and um, roads were, um, and and the signs and the poles were more uh, Ukrainian. Um, but that hill in the background, it should, anytime you get hill, it should probably come to the middle of Russia. Okay. <laughs> um, all the bus, Torio. Okay. Here's the, okay. So maybe we're back. Uh, this is going to be tough because, well, maybe not. I feel like we can be back in Mexico. Dark Knight, G, U, no. G, U. Hotel. Oh, boy. Um, interesting. Hidalgo. So we are in Mexico. I think we're close to Mexico City. Perhaps we are in Mexico City, Toluca. Um, Guerrero. Maybe we are Cuernavaca. Um, here, let's just see. It could be is this Leon. And I'm going to stick with where I am, I guess, and uh, just hope for the best. And we were up there in near Leon. So in Guanajuato, 
Guanajuato, Guanajuato, Guanajuato. Um, okay, that makes sense because the GU on the, I mean, I guess you could be in Guadalajara, uh, could have been a couple different places, but all in all, not too bad on that. Uh, got that fairly quick. I thought at first maybe we were in uh, Europe. We looked very European there for a little bit, but uh, the key for me on the Mexican rounds are, uh, are the cars, the style of the, their, their American style cars for the most part. And I'll show you at the end. Get off to the fifth and final round, and what do we have here? Tours in. Um, Happy Boys, delicious meals. In East High School in Tita, Kampala, Uganda. Okay, so we are in Uganda. And uh, near a roundabout, going looking south. There's a Lexus, a lot of motorbikes, and uh, mixed boarding O level. Kampala, Uganda. And Tita, here we are. Um, got a minute. Um, let's say Iran, Uganda Hospital. That's interesting. China, Uganda Friendship Hospital. Well, interesting. A lot of hospitals over here. Um, so, Tita. Um, hmm. Who are over here? Merriam High School. No, I don't think we're there. Um, Uh, I'm just clicking. <laughs> oh, we were back up there. That was, I just didn't, uh, the bypassed highway, 1.7 miles. What do we get? 19,270, not too bad. The Russian round uh, kind of hurt me on that one. I do definitely want to play with 19,000 locations. Uh, I will be playing this quite a bit. I do like Urban Guesser. Comment down below if you like the Urban Guesser, Urban World, or if there's any other urban or cities games. I, I really like this. I want to get good at learning a lot of cities. It's a good way to learn the game, uh, in my opinion, because you learn about a lot of little clues. Uh, but comment down below if there's another cities, urban, etc. Or if you want me to play this game again, go for a perfect score. That's ultimately the goal. Maybe the next game, what I'll do for this one is do a perhaps a no time limit. But let's take a quick look. Let's get back at this. Uh, let's do a game breakdown. And let's just see here. That third round was a, a, just got destroyed. Um, and thanks to the YouTube community for telling me to click on that to get uh, to highlight this so I can click on it. First round was Tunisia. Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, a couple of clues for me right out of the gate. Uh, when you have French, you have <clears throat> Arabic. And uh, well, that was a first clue because uh, it shows up on GeoGuessr quite a bit as a Google map, so you can look at Google. Um, and then what clinched it was the red on the license plate here. So there's a red, uh, Tunisia, even this these dotted uh, street or curb markings as well. You see that a lot throughout. And uh, quite frankly, I just was an educated guest in the country um, where I was located, which wasn't all too bad. Uh, it was 68 miles away, so pretty, pretty pleased with that. Um, all told, second round. Uh, where did we go for the second round? Oh, that's right. We went off to one of my best guesses. Um, I feel. Um, first things first. I thought about Brazil. I don't know why, because I see the E with with that crossed out. Um. But what turned the tide for me to Mexico, 
I'm sure some of you could have gotten it maybe from the um, the car meta. But what what clearly sh uh, sh uh, completely made the shift was I even thought like, hey, maybe this is like Bolivia or something, you know. But a couple things I started to realize the car. I know you can get Chevys in Brazil, but there's a Pontiac, uh, an old American made car. They don't exist anymore. But Pontiacs, I don't know if you've ever seen it outside. I, I'm sure there are Pontiacs around the world, but few and far between. It's got to be few and far between. So this is a Pontiac, probably Trans Am. If I'm looking at the, the style of car, you see this a lot in the United States, these Hyundai, like Santa Fe's. Here's a crv or whatever this is no not a crv it's a um anyway um i think this is a uh acura uh, again some of these cars land rover but then i saw this crv and i saw this um chevy these lights i don't know if i've ever seen this car outside of the united states again i'm sure it exists but just this seems too american and then you got this jeep grand Cher cherokee which is another American-made car. And then I started realizing, oh, wait a minute. There's gates. There's barbed wire. Um, this could be, this is probably Mexico. Again, with that E crossed out, I knew it was either Spanish or Portuguese. And then here in the background, another clue was this mountain with, a, like, it looks like a rock mountain. And then I lined up the compass. And I guess that's a little bit to the west. I felt like the compass might have been a little different here. But it's pretty flat. And then you have this rising mountain, just reminds me of El Paso. This palm tree, I took a look, and you look at this again a little bit, looked like this could have been Tijuana. But that mountain being there, I just went with an educated guess of being Ciudad Juarez, which is right across the Rio Grande from El Paso. So that's why I went there. Um, yeah, so I mean... Not that far away. And I'm guessing now that I look at it, maybe the mountains over here. But there are mountains here. So that's uh, that's a good one for me. Um, third round. I don't know what the heck happened there. Uh, other than I just don't know interior Russia. And it, no, it was this way. Next time I see a hill in Russia, it's the second time or third time that I've gotten low scores because I've gone to the Western part of Russia or Ukraine. And uh, I got to realize some of these hills, there is a middle part of Russia as well. And, uh, but just, I was just thinking with the roads, the potholes, some of the building structure, some of this, and I think it was this one I was looking at, looked a little rusted out. Uh, I see a lot of, you know, grass that's people walking there and no sidewalks. And it just, I thought it was Ukraine. I guess the clue where I knew it wasn't Ukraine, there seems like a lot of blue, light blue uh, and yellow, the colors of Ukraine in, in the Ukraine, uh, or in Ukraine, I should say. Uh, so that was, uh, should have been a clue to me that I didn't see any of that. But in any case, lesson learned. Uh, what do we got? The fourth round, uh, back to Mexico. Um, again, a couple things. Uh, first and foremost, I was looking at these buses. They don't look North American to me. But here we've got a Dodge car. When I see the Dodge car, again, I'm sure you can pop up in Sweden or it can pop up in Norway. You can pop up in certain parts of the country. I'm like, ah, this this can't be. This can't be uh, that. Um, because then I was thinking, oh, well, maybe this is like Spain or something. And I was like, ah, maybe this is Spain. And then I think it was here. Yep, Chevy, the taxi, the Dark Knight. You got this car here. This is a clue for me. The GU, I knew that this is... Uh, I guess it's the city, but just didn't, didn't know where this was. Probably could have gotten Guanajuato at some point, but at least uh, I got close to it. So I was pretty pleased about that one. And the last round, obviously, was straightforward. It already had Kampala, Uganda in there. And you just have to figure out the sign was here. It says Kampala, Uganda. Or if you saw Kampala, you play this game enough, you know where that is. Pretty straightforward on that one. Don't need to go into that much further. But appreciate you tuning in. Uh, hit that like button if you liked it. Smash the subscribe button. Share this with your friends. Appreciate you tuning in. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.